Hello everybody, welcome to Trans E-Learning Physics videos. Today we'll be discussing about speed and in that we'll be covering the topic concept and explanation related to speed. This is the second video related to concept and explanation and in this video we'll be discussing about how fast or slow an object moves. So let's see what all topics we'll be covering in this video. In this video, we'll be discussing about how speed can be used to tell how fast or slow an object is moving and how can distance and time be calculated using speed. So first of all, how speed can be used to tell how fast or slow an object is moving. So this is their first case where we are keeping distance same. Now this parameter is same so if we analyze speed and time there's an inverse relation between speed and time. Inverse relation means that if the time interval is less the speed of the body is more. So if time is less their speed will be more and vice versa. That means if the time interval is more, if the time interval is more, then the speed will be less. Let us understand this inverse relation with the help of an example. You can see here in this image we have two cars, car A and car B. The distance traveled by the car A is 10 meter and the time interval is 2 second. Whereas the car B travels the distance of 10 meter in time interval of 5 second. Let us calculate the speed of the car A first. So the speed of the car A will be distance travel upon time. So the speed of car A will be 10 meter divided by 2 second. So the speed will come out to be 5 meter per second. That means the car A travels 5 meter per second. Let us see for the car B. The speed of the car B will be distance upon time. So here we'll substitute the value that is 10 meter upon 5 second. So this will come out to be 2 meter per second. So the speed of the car B is 2 meter per second. That means car B travels 2 meter per second. So analyzing the speed of car A and car B, we come to the conclusion that the car A travels faster as compared to the car B because it's covering a uh, 5 meter per second whereas a car B is covering 2 meter per second. So if you analyze carefully that here the distance is same but the time is different. This car A is taking less time to cover the distance of 10 meter whereas car B is taking more time to cover the distance of 10 meter. So when the time interval is less uh, the speed is more and when the time interval is more the speed is less. This justifies the inverse relation between speed and time. So we can conclude that objects covering distance in less time travel faster. In this case we are keeping the distance same. So when the distance is same, if the time interval is less then that uh, object or, or that person will travel faster. Let us keep the time same. Before proceeding further and telling you the concept and explanation and example when we are keeping the time same, I would like to define speed numerically. Speed can be defined numerically as the distance traveled by the body in one second. So when we are keeping the time same, we will by default take the time interval as one second. So we know that speed is equal to distance travel upon time interval. So if the time interval is same then there is a direct relation between the speed and the distance travel. That means speed is directly proportional to distance. So uh, that means if their distance is more then the speed will also be more here arrow. And if the distance traveled is less, then the speed will also be less, provided we are keeping the time same. Condition applied. So now we have understood the concept and the relation between the speed and distance. Let us understand this with help of an example. Let us consider three boys running. You can see here three boys, boy A, 
B and C. Boy A is running at the speed of 30 meter per second and the boy B is running with the speed of 20 meter per second and the boy C is running uh, with the speed of 15 meter per second. Now uh, here as we are keeping the time same so we are considering uh, the distance travel uh, per second. So uh, the boy A covers 30 meter while the boy B covers 20 meter and the boy C covers 15 meter. So if we consider the speed uh, we can analyze the boy covering the maximum distance has the greatest speed. So that means the boy A has the greatest uh, speed as compared to boy B and boy C. The second comes the boy B and the last is the boy C because boy C is covering very less distance per second that is only 15 which is uh, less as compared to boy B and A. So here we justify uh, the relation between speed and time that if the time is constant that if the distance travel is more and if we take numerically we are taking one second then if the distance travel per second is more the speed will be more. So we can come to the conclusion object covering more distance travel faster provided we are keeping the time same. So that was all about like how we know that how fast or the slow an object is moving. Now let us see how can distance and time be calculated using speed. You can see here the formula of speed. Speed is equal to distance upon time. So if I have to calculate the distance traveled using speed and time, then all I have to do is to multiply speed with time. So distance travel equals to speed into time. This is how we can calculate distance. So if we need to calculate the time interval using speed, then in this case all we need to do is just to uh, swap the values. Here you take the time zero and bring the speed here. So the time will be equal to distance traveled upon speed. Here time interval is equal to distance traveled upon speed. This is how we can calculate time interval using speed. Thank you very much for watching this video. For more videos, you can visit our website, transelearning.com. Have a great day.